well, 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 it appears we have another free tank on our hands that you can all pick up when you jump onto World of Tanks console next week or this week as of the recording of this video, you'll be able to pick up the American Tier 8 T-54 E2 overpowered heavy tank. Now this is a tank that I've been really wanting to get. It's otherwise known as the Renegade on PC. Uh, it doesn't have the autoloader and that's something we'll get into in just a second and you'll be able to actually pick up this tank very very easily uh, within this next week and so yeah let's have a look at how you can actually pick up the tank, what the free tank actually is and the kind of playstyle that you want to be using in the tank and then obviously we've got some more update news for World of Tanks Modern Armor coming up after that. So first things first, October challenge details. Uh, each stage will require you to deal and assist in 1000 damage, so pretty much play one game. Uh, to complete the entire challenge, you'll need to deal and assist in 1000 damage 200 times. So essentially 200 battles to be able to get this free uh, tier 8 premium tank. And trust me, this is one to actually focus on, try and actually get it done, because it really is something that you'll want to be getting. If you don't have it already, or alternatively if you do have it already you'll get the silver equivalent when you finally get the tank um, which is always nice especially if you're just playing the game anyway you get four million silver when you actually get the tank if you already own it of course it's a little bit dodgy that wargaming always sell these tanks and then you know a couple of months down the line they then put them up for free a little bit tedious for those of you who have spent your real money on purchasing the tank just to then essentially get 4 million silver instead of just getting it for free so realistically you've paid for having the tank slightly earlier but then also that silver uh, so yeah kind of a little bit dodgy but you know this video isn't about it it is about the challenge and how you can earn it so first things first deal and assist in 1000 total damage in two times you get a load of xp boosters this is actually pretty nice and you know these are always things that i enjoy in the game you know you can slap on a two times silver xp booster with some of the premium cold war vehicles and talking about premium cold war vehicles we have another one to be looking at and we'll give that a little bit of a run through later on um so that's just a little bit of a teaser for you guys uh october challenge two obviously getting some inscriptions you get the discount and as you work the way through you're getting silver you're getting these camo vouchers you're getting more xp boost and as you keep on going and going and going and eventually when you've completed the 200 um 1000 total damage um of assistance and actual damage then you'll be able to actually pick up the tank itself now talking about the tank itself, what is the key aspects of the T-54 E2 that you'll be looking at? Well, it's the 360 alpha damage that this thing gets, the decent penetration, but realistically it's that autoloader that this tank can get when you put it on it. It's got a three shot autoloader, 360 each time, meaning that you can do 1080 alpha damage at tier 8 in a heavy tank. Yeah, it can be pretty devastating when you come up against opposite numbers on this tank. Uh, certainly going to be a little bit tedious when, you know, everyone manages to pick up this tank and it's the matchmaker is just filled with T-54 E2 autoloading premium tanks. It's not going to be particularly fun for any of you grinding tier 6 because, yeah, when you're playing against autoloaders and their tier higher or two tiers higher, it becomes very, very horrible because they can pretty much two-shot you um, and that leaves them with one more clip that if they actually missed you with any of their shells or bounced for some unknown reason then yeah they'll finish you off with a third shot in rapid succession um can you use this with a single shot yes of course you can you can actually do that it basically grants you some bonuses with regards to the rate of fire so you can see that when you actually put on the autoloader the rate of fire decreases that's essentially because there's got to be a negative to having the autoloader uh, over the fact of having the standard single shot gun uh, you pick this in the garage um, alternatively if you do pick the single shot you get better aim time you get better accuracy on not accuracy do you yeah you do you get the slightly better accuracy um and of course the better rate of fire reload time goes down obviously why the rate of fire is better and so yeah the tank basically can deal more dpm in single shot but nine times out of ten i would pick the autoloader just because in 90 percent of the scenarios you can poke around a corner deal your 1080 damage and then just wait a little bit and wait and reload 
keep yourself in cover, use your teammates to be able to avoid the enemy from advancing towards you, you know, keep close to your teammates, and that's basically how the T-54E2 works. Um, turret armor actually has turret armor, except from this big cupola on the top of the tank, which is the kind of big weak point of the tank. Gets a pretty decent hull, I mean, for a tier 8. Yes, you're not going to be bouncing particularly that many rounds in this heavy tank, um, but yeah, you can certainly wiggle, and you're going to increase the chance using that boat shaped hole and if they hit the upper plate at a weird angle it will bounce um, but don't be thinking that this is definitely going to be bouncing loads around it's like an e5 at tier 8 yeah you bounce the occasional but you're not going to be bouncing that often as far as the actual tanker uh, itself, if you just want to purchase it with a load of all of basically all of the rewards it will cost you 15,560 gold in my personal opinion I would never, ever, 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 ever spend 15,500 gold on any of this because you can get it for free. And trust me, it doesn't take very long. You know, even if you play a couple of days, you're going to significantly reduce that cost that you would have to pay anyway. And if you really want the tank that bad, just buy the damn tank. It's 10,000 gold um, and it will be 5,500 gold cheaper. And often 90% of this stuff you probably won't even want. And trust me, it's usually overpriced uh, for the price of what it actually is. So there we go. The T-54E2 new free premium tank in World of Tanks console. And let's move Move on to the next bit. Uh, obviously, with every week, we usually get some sort of celebration operation where you get some rewards and an emblem. Well, today's or this week's is blast off and earn a celebratory emblem. Um, in the background, you can actually see the rover, which looks like, or not the rover, it's the chaffy, um, which was used in the moon kind of a game mode where you actually had zero gravity and you could essentially, you know, have low gravity within the game. I mean, that's pretty self explanatory you know you could basically go up a ramp and then you'd be floating in the air it was really really interesting don't know if that will be coming back but maybe this is a little bit of a teaser or alternatively if it's just wargaming it may just be like a cosmetic that they're trying to think that you know maybe this would be coming back but it's probably unlikely uh, but obviously if you remember that leave a comment in the comment section down below uh, because that was quite a while ago now i think um, when that was in the game how do you actually get this emblem? Well, just place among the top 7 XP earners on your team in a battle. It doesn't have to be a winning one, and it's available to any tier and eras, and available to both multiplayer and co-op. So essentially anyone that plays a game, as long as you place in top 7, whatever game mode you're playing, you'll be able to get this emblem five times per day. Um, obviously, it's only available for one day. So yeah, essentially... It's just some free emblems. If you're interested in that, then yeah, that's kind of an emblem that you'll be able to get. Now, moving on to probably one of the more controversial topics within the game. That is, of course, the Detont Era Premium Tank, the first one ever within World of Tanks console or modern armor, modern tanks, whatever you want to call this game because it's just a hybrid now. You know, you've got the World of Tanks console, World of Tanks PS4. What do you call it? Well, I guess it just keeps flipping and changing and I guess we'll just roll with the times. Anyway, conquer your enemies with the Detente Era's first premium heavy tank. What's Wargaming got to say about it? Well, as Wargaming said, stand out with the high alpha damage, missile, ammo, and excellent mobility of the MBT-70. Well, let's have a look at the statistics of the vehicle, and we can do that later on. We'll have a look at the skins as well. So, first things first, 20% XP bonus, which is nice, I guess, if you're interested in spending money on free XP. Wouldn't recommend it myself. 55% silver bonus earn, which means that you're going to be earning quite a decent chunk, especially considering you're at the top tier within the Cold War era mode, which means, yes, you will be earning a ridiculous amount more um, with this tank, probably than any of the era 2 tanks. So if you're interested in making a load of silver, this is probably the tank for you, especially if you put on the boost for the 2 times XP and if you've completed the season pass, which gives you an additional 1.25%. Um, or 1.2 times uh, silver, and then when you've got premium account, which gives you an extra one and a half times silver, 
Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you can earn 700,000 silver per game with this thing, with the times 2 silver boosts that you can purchase from the store or alternatively from getting from those missions that we talked about earlier. Uh, what does this tank offer in terms of its firepower, however? It has 780 alpha damage down here with its standard rounds, and of course it gets those missiles as well, with 1,100 alpha damage on those. So it's pretty standard. I mean, if you compare it to something like the MOBAT, it gets slightly more alpha damage. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely have some good games with this. I'd expect that it will be a pretty competitive one. Is it better than the M1A1 Abrams? Well, I don't know. I haven't played it yet. And when I do, hopefully very soon, if I manage to get my hands on it uh, we'll give some good reviews as to the tank and see if wargaming's dodgy tactics with producing overpowered tanks that you can only purchase with real money uh yeah i guess we'll have a look at that now hit points 3600 pretty standard engine horsepower 1500 whoa that's a be decent chunky power to weight ratio 27.84 you're definitely going to be able to deal a fairly decent chunk of damage um, and also get up to that top speed fairly easily 35 degrees a second hull traverse and 36 degrees turret traverse means you, you've got 71 degrees a second gonna take you approximately six seconds to fully rotate 360 degrees roughly um, pretty decent to be honest for a heavy tank gun depression nine degrees pretty standard for a medium heavy tank cold war tank yeah they're basically like a medium tank aren't they really um Gun elevation, 20 degrees, pretty standard. 350 millimeters of standard penetration, 380 with premium rounds. Uh, probably just better off firing premium rounds because, yeah, that extra penetration, I don't know how well it fit like fares at that tier i haven't actually played too much of the deton era uh, we'll definitely need to be trying that out on my actual account and getting up to that kind of rank eventually don't know when that will be but of course i will be producing some cold war content eventually uh, whenever i manage to get up there and have the silver to do so aim time two and a half seconds um, accuracy 0 0.3 0 0.3 accuracy really nice 0.2 well 2.5 second aim time definitely decent obviously nerf it or buff those with some of the perks and the equipment that you can put on the tank if you can put on stabilizer you're probably going to want that 5.22 rounds a minute rate of fire meaning that you've got around about 4000 dpm which is pretty decent let me not beat around the bush 4000 dpm definitely going to be able to chunk out hit points against some of the opponents that you're going to be coming up against uh, max ammo 48 view range 485 and signal range 490 uh, you're definitely going to be getting outspotted by the light tanks uh, if you can even meet them i'm not entirely sure but there we go the mbt 70 if i can get some gameplay of it i will try my best and we can kind of see how it fares from there these are the skins that you can get with the tank uh, it's the desert skin here it looks very interesting then you've got the urban skin which you can see here and then the summer skin which is this available one in terms of which one i prefer it's definitely the desert skin to be honest with you uh, i think the urban one's probably the worst looking one but obviously leave your opinions in the comment section down below uh, because it's always a matter of opinion with these videos uh, mbt 70 tank bundles how much is it going to set you back in your wallet well 19,040 gold if you want to purchase it straight away on release uh, or 15,940 gold if you want to purchase it without the advanced loader and advanced optics and gun stabilizer and trust me trust me do not purchase the first one do not purchase it for essentially you're paying 3100 gold to be able to get advanced loader advanced optics and gun stabilizer what are wargaming thinking with that yeah just ridiculous uh, essentially one and a half million well probably more actually in terms of silver i don't know how much the these are in cold war at the top tier uh, but yeah definitely don't go doing that if you have any sanity and you can pick them up both up at the same time so definitely go with the cheaper bundle here mbt 70 loaded uh, wait another week probably not worth it to save 70 or 700 gold and you get a free skin basically or skin uh, essentially with it and if you want to wait for the base very base model you have to of course wait two weeks uh, for you to be able hang on a minute that's not two weeks yes it is 
what am I on about? Yeah, you have to wait two weeks to be able to actually pick up this tank for a reasonable price. Well, I say reasonable, but 14,000 gold. Yeah, that's quite a decent chunk. You'll be paying about 40 something pounds for one tank in a video game. Of course, reason that as you may. But yeah, I particularly wouldn't be spending that on a tank within a video game if I didn't produce content uh, for you guys. Hopefully this video was short and concise. I've been trying to make these news videos short and concise and just fill it with information that is ho hopefully relevant to the, your kind of news and what you want to find out. Of course, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them as best I can. If you want to check out the recent update, update 7.2, then you can do using the video on screen. Or alternatively, if you want to watch some gameplay guides and other sort of stuff within the playlist on the right, then yeah, that will basically go through all of that sort of stuff that is usually pretty decent games, at least ones that I have anyway. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me in one of those videos and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.